Hey guys, so I thought I would just do a little sit down talk video just for a few minutes here. Um, you guys seem to like these things anyway. So um, I asked you guys in an earlier video, I'm gonna ask this before, what I should do with the fate of this truck. Some of you guys didn't know what truck I was talking about. The fate of this truck. So <clears throat> I've decided I decided that <clears throat> that truck, well, let me go back a little bit here. I've owned this truck for a long time. I've owned that truck for, oh, since 2008. I think it was eight. Late eight, maybe early 2009. I've owned it for a while anyway. So, and it's been through a lot. I've done a lot of stuff with it. I've used it a lot. It was my work truck for a couple of years. So it has been a good truck to me. Nonetheless, I'm, not one to sell stuff usually for some reason. I do sell stuff, but I tend to hoard a lot of stuff. Anyways, um, I have decided, I was on the, uh, how should I go about this? This is lots of times how videos go. You guys just don't see it. Um, so I wanted something, my minivan is getting pretty tough and you guys have probably, if you guys have been around the channel a long time, I got a 2006 minivan, Chrysler Caravan, just, uh, I use it for my winter beater. That's like an extra vehicle. She's getting pretty tough around the edges. Now I did just fix a couple things, so it feels like a Cadillac right now, but um, I would like to replace that. Now, I always like to have two vehicles. I like to have my, a winter beater plus another vehicle that I'll drive all year round. So I like to have two vehicles to drive all year round in case one breaks down. They're not new vehicles, and I tend to, you know, like one of them is usually kind of a hot rod type thing anyway because I don't like slow stuff, which is ironic I drive a minivan. Anyways, um... I've decided that I'm gonna fix this truck back up. I'm not gonna fix it to the point we did with the shorty. Um, there again, for you guys, that have, I'm sure you guys probably will know the blue truck back there. Um, we're not fixing it to that point because that was expensive. Basically, I just wanna go through this and make a good running driving, you know, the truck look presentable. Um, so I am in the hunt. So next summer, late fall probably, we're going to rip the body off this truck and do a bunch of stuff to it. So I am looking for parts for that truck. Now, if you guys live relatively close to the Canadian border on the west side, I am looking for a 94 to 97 um, truck. So extended cab, long box. I'm not, I, don't, I don't want it to be a diesel. A gasser would be better because it's going to be cheaper. I literally just want the body off of it. Um, but I want the body to be in good shape, basically no rust. Um, if I have to go farther down into the States, that's fine. I just don't want one that's rusty. If it's got a couple of dents here and there, that's, that's fine. I honestly don't really want to paint the truck if I don't have to, at least for a year or two. But I want something that's 99.9% .9 rust free um, because I don't want to have to start fixing rockers and box sides and all that stuff. Otherwise, I just do this one. Um, so I am looking for that, that. If you, any of you guys can keep an eye out for me, um, for something that'd be muchly appreciated. Now, I won't be able to come down probably until after winter to pick it up. So I am going to have to figure out where I'm going to store it, um, which maybe one of you guys would be able to store it. I could pay some storage or something. Um, but Or maybe if you even have one I can buy to do so, that'd be cool. Um, let me know. Send me an email, robcutterup at outlook.com. Um, and the, that is always in the description as well. Um, but... What I've decided to do with this thing is we're gonna swap it over to the newer axles so we have four wheel disc brakes. We're just gonna kinda of do, we're not gonna do a show build on it or anything like that. It's literally just gonna go through it and make it a good running driving truck and we're gonna keep good care of it. Um, it'll get undercoated and all that stuff. Yes, I realize it's gonna rust again, but see the issue was is that I honestly, I went down to the Toyota dealership today before I come to the shop. And I was looking at buying a brand new Toyota Tacoma four door, just something to drive in the winter time. Um, I was looking at buying a brand new truck. <laughs> I would buy a Dodge um, if they had something small. It's just that I don't want a full size truck. I want something small if I was buying something new. Um, but I decided instead of spending, because I went in and talked to the guy and it was gonna be like, now this is Canadian dollars, but it was gonna be like over $600 a month for the payment on it. And I got thinking, I was like, man, that just doesn't make sense to me. For $600 a month, if I put $600 every month into that truck, it'd be a really nice truck in a couple of years. Like a really nice truck. 
So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fix that truck back up. Now, granted, I do still need to buy another vehicle for a beater, but I think likely I'll just buy something kind of like that minivan that I have. It'll just be whatever I can find cheap, maybe another minivan for a few thousand dollars. Um, I'm going to run this one till it dies, but um, you know, it's just, it's getting kind of tough around the edges. I honestly, it looks like junk. It, it looked like junk since the day I bought it. Um, but mechanically it's not in that bad of shape. It's got some electrical problems, you know, but it's, it's starting to get pretty tough around the edges. It's got a bit, pretty bad tick to it. Um, but I don't drive very far with it. So, but that's what I've decided. So what we need to do is I got to bust my butt here. Um, but we're going to bring in Shay's truck, um, first part of the new year here. Well, actually, I guess maybe I should start where we are from right now. So I got a few things that I want to do on the short box before I take it home. It's not going to be finished. There's a few things that I want to get figured out so I can order some parts and stuff, gather up a little bit more money for that project. Um, and then that's going to go to the house. Now it goes to the house, going to go into the garage and we're going to bring the first gen here. It's going to come onto the hoist where this truck is right now. This truck's going to come off the hoist. Um, and we're going to do some dyno runs and all that type of stuff with the engine that's in it, the P-Pump 6.7 that's in it, play around with the nitrous a little bit. So there'll be some fun videos with that. And as we're doing that, I'm going to finish the engine for that truck, which was the ultimate VE build, um, which I was actually working on today for a little bit. Um, I try to work on it here and there a little bit, kind of, so it's getting done, getting worked on. Um, so that engine will go into that and then we'll start that series of build. Now, as the first gen is going to stay on the hoist probably until the next project is done um because if i swap the engine and stuff i probably won't even take it off the dyno to swap the engine i don't think uh maybe we'll see um but it's basically at ride height so we don't really have to screw around with it much um we're gonna bring shay's truck in here for you guys that don't know shay he's a buddy of mine um his first gen has been on the page it was a half ton gasser um, when we first started years ago we swapped the cummins into it he ran the first gen or the the half ton axles um, it's just down to the point where we're, we, we pulled the engine out for you guys that are having fall. We pulled the engine out. We completely rebuilt the engine. It is sitting over there the other side of my truck. We are building a 47 RE full manual valve body for it, which we'll be doing in the next few weeks, hopefully before Christmas. Um, and then we're going to put the engine back into his truck and change some stuff around. We have new fenders for it. We got we're doing a bunch of stuff to it. It's just, we're doing it as I have time as budget allows and as he has time because he wants to help do it. So we're gonna do a bunch of stuff over Christmas hopefully on it um, because he has some time off and I take a little bit of time off during Christmas as well. So I'm hoping we can get a bunch of stuff, me and him ta tag team in a bit and get a bunch of stuff done. Um, we do, we are swapping front and rear differentials in it, first gen, putting a set of first gens in it. Um, so technically at that point it's a three quarter ton truck just with a half ton frame but he doesn't plan on towing with it anyway. So it's the three quarter ton diffs are just for strength of carrying the front diff and the strength of the rear diff. So, you know, he doesn't gizzard the rear diff. His truck is what we're going to do. The, the small horsepower stuff, as far as that goes on the VE stuff. So it's going to be a fresh engine, um, but it'll give everybody a really good idea on you know what changes what what does what when you change stuff um and everything like i said everything we know is going to be working good all that stuff um so i just thought i would mention that so his truck is going to be so the first gen is going to be on the dyno for a little while when we get his truck done his truck's going to go on the dyno which will give me some time to do all the ve the, the ultimate ve build side of things so i think his truck and my and the my first gen We'll be kind of swapping back and forth on the dyno, um, probably realistically until spring, I think. Um, now, when that happens, I am going to be looking for a few guys that are willing to let me use their trucks to do some dynoing. Um, I, <clears throat> we'll, we'll do that whole series with his truck and my truck with the VE. Now, I don't know if I'm going to need any VE trucks. Um, you know, if I could find a VE truck that was completely unmolested, um, you know, like completely factory that a guy wanted to turn up. Um, I might do that just to go from a completely stock truck, um, to not a completely stock truck. Uh, because with Shay's truck, he already has done some stuff to the pump and we're doing different injectors, like right out of the gate. I'm going to try to do, bring it back to stockish as far as I can, but I have done a little, some modifications in the pump that I can't revert. 
without swapping it to a different pump and I don't really want to do that so um, but we'll we'll take that as a grain of salt kind of idea now his truck is a um, intercooled truck or engine was an intercooled engine so they were a little hotter to begin with the pump and stuff and they had bigger injectors but um, I will be looking for some trucks so now I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it just yet I'm not ready for them it won't be until summer or maybe next winter I don't know exactly but the hindrance is is that I'm gonna need the truck as it stands right now unless something changes if the subscription stuff which will be coming out in January uh, the subscription side of things if that takes off like I'm hoping it will I'll be able to probably do it in a month now if that doesn't and I'm still working complete full-time in the shop I'm um, having to do that all the time um, then it's going to take a couple months. So I realistically would need the truck for at least a couple months, probably, which I realize is hard for a lot of guys, but maybe as it rolls into the, into the fall and into the winter again, maybe guys would be willing to do that because maybe they're not driving the truck. Um, but I would be looking for, with well, the trucks that I'd be looking for, just so you guys have an idea what's going on. Um, obviously you would have to bring me the truck. So that is one hindrance. You don't have to be from Canada. You could be from the States if you really want to drive your truck up here. Um, I would have no problem with that. It's just that you would have to be able to get home again afterwards. Um, and if the subscription based thing is doing good enough, maybe we can work something out as far as like that goes. Um, but I need, what I would like to do is a 160 or 175 horse truck that is completely stock. And the guy wants to take it from, let's say stock to four to 500 horsepower is kind of the idea. Um, and then the same idea going for the 180 horse truck and the 215 horse truck. But I want to start with trucks that are 100% stock. Now it does not have to be per se in a Dodge truck. I was talking to Brad today, him and his son are building an international that he's putting a uh, 12 valve in. Um, it could be something like that. That would be fine. It's just that I want the engine completely stock. So that when we do changes to it, um, we can actually physically see what the changes are. Did it change anything? Do we have to do this? That type of thing. Now I can buy trucks and do this. I just thought that if we could do it with your guys' trucks, it would be beneficial. I wouldn't have to buy a truck and it's not gonna cost you guys an arm and a leg. Now granted, do take into consideration is not gonna be free um, because I, I physically can't financially or time-wise do it for free. Um, but I, it, the, the, I would do it set up as the, whatever parts we end up with in the truck, you would have to pay for. So the final rendition, and then also there would be something hourly, um, for changing the parts on the, like I said, on the final rendition, not of all of the changes, just of the final rendition. Um, but like I said, it's not going to be free, but it will be a good deal for what you're going to get out of it. Um, and the reason I want to do, or the reason I'm willing to do that is that it's saving me having to buy a truck. So either way, I would still be doing all that and then I'd have a truck to get rid of. Um, but if I can do that and compensate for some of it so that I'm not doing it hundred percent free, but somebody gets a good deal on a truck build, that's the kind of idea. Now, something else that I was thinking in the subscription side of things, which would, I think would be a cool idea, um, if we can make it fly but that one's completely up to you guys. I, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, we'll talk more about it here in uh, the end of December, um, but it's gonna be, um, I think it'd be really cool for the subscription side of things if, if you guys wanna do it with me, um, is that we can really set up something that's cool, because what I would like to do is, for you guys that follow Greg A, you buy t-shirts from him or stuff from him, T-shirts, hats, hoodies, whatever it may be. And he gives away a truck or a trailer and or a trailer. Um, I want to do the same kind of idea, but instead of buying, um, and don't get me wrong, if you want to buy merchandise, I would muchly appreciate it. it. That really does help with doing, paying for stuff for the channel and all that stuff. Um, but with the subscription side of things was, I wanted to have it so that it's, instead of you guys buying a T-shirt per se, you pay that monthly subscription, which I know now I have a set amount per month that's coming in to be able to do videos and setups and all that stuff. And then also we're gonna do monthly giveaways. But what I wanted to do, instead of giving away a truck per se, or a trailer, is I wanted to give away a truck mechanical 
makeover package, you know, and it's depending on how much, how many people are subscribed. But if we had enough people subscribed, I would want to do that maybe every six months or so. So twice a year. And we would do like a 30 or a $40,000 mechanical makeover on somebody's truck, whoever the winner is. And then I'm going to do some regular giveaways just on the YouTube channel as well. But I think it would be really cool to be able to do that because that gives back to you guys. It helps me out for doing videos and content and that type of stuff, bringing more brand awareness. Um, but then also too, you guys get, you know, like let's, a winner gets, you know, a thirty or $40,000 makeover, mechanical makeover. I'm not doing body and all that type of stuff. But we'll do mechanical makeover on trucks, whether it be swapping gears, swapping differentials, uh, transmissions, engine builds, compound turbos, um, you know, like any of that type of stuff, you know, like I was talking to a friend of mine, he's got a, um, a really nice little short box, regular cab short box, first gen, um, with a 12 valve in it, P pump 12 valve. Now it's not a stock truck. It's probably 350, 400 horsepower. Um, and I was talking to him about it and he's like, yeah, that would be really cool. You know, like you could go if, yeah, with, you have a project like that, that's running and driving, but you know, the engine's tired. Um, you know, the transmission's not really built in it or it doesn't have a good clutch or whatever it may be. Um, that would be something that I think would be really cool to be able to do for you guys. And then, like I said, it helps me because, you know, then I have video content of building somebody's truck. Um, but then it's, you know, something that it's not, it's something that I know I have a deadline on that has to get done. Uh, it comes in and out, gets done, and then I get to work on my projects as well. But I think something like that would be really fun to do, um, help guys out. And it would be like, you know, let's say somebody down in the States want it because primarily you guys are from the States that watch. Let's say somebody from Texas. We would have two options as far as that goes is that either I would pay to ship the truck up here or you could drive the truck up here and I would pay to fly you back and pay to fly you back again. It would be really cool if you brought the truck, um, but obviously it just depends if the truck is in good enough shape, like it mechanically good enough shape to drive up here um, or if you even want to drive it up here. But um, I thought it would just be kind of something kind of cool, kind of like the, uh, you know, garage makeover or whatever, you know, those TV shows, you guys that have been around as long as I have. Um, some of those TV shows we used to watch <coughs> or even kind of like, um, what was the one with Chip Foose? Hmm. I can't think of it. Let me know in the, uh, let me know in the comments. I can't think of what it is. Anyways, um, you know, something like that where, you know, you bring it in, like I said, I'm not doing body, um, but a complete makeover, you know, we could do axles and diffs and tires and brakes and, you know, hydro boost swap and, you know, like we could do some really cool stuff. Um, you know, make a, a plan with somebody what they want and be able to build a really cool truck for somebody. Um, and if the guy really wanted to stay around, you know, we could bang it out in a short period of time, but you'd have to stay around for a couple weeks for sure um, for us to be able to do that. But obviously we got to get there. We're not anywhere near that point as, as it stands right now. So um, anyways, before I ramble anymore, uh, I'm going to cut this video off. Like, subscribe, hit me in the comments and do check out the, the website, Grab some merch, hats, t-shirts, um, you know, that type of stuff. It really does help the channel. And I really appreciate for everybody that has been buying. And there is more products coming on the website. Um, we're going to have a bunch of stuff coming in really soon. Everything kind of in January. I'm hoping everything's going to kind of come together in a big clump in January. And then we'll be a bunch of stuff going on. So 